Now, at the third step, I'm going to read Excel data and populate it on the web page. How can we go ahead and do that? Let me go back to rpachallenge.com. For the web filling, we'll find an Excel. Where we will find that? There you can see download Excel. Let's click on that. Now, challenge Excel has downloaded successfully. Let's open that. Here, we need small changes over here in this Excel. There are a lot of empty records are available in the particular Excel so that I'm going to delete all by right clicking on that and then I'm going to delete it and then I'm going to click on save. So in this Excel, what you will find, you will find first name, last name, company name, role in company, address, email, phone number. These are all the columns which we have in the challenge Excel. By using this Excel, I want to fill all these details in my RPA challenge by using read data from Excel sheet by using Excel automation. Now let's go back to desktop flow. Now we are going to read that Excel by using Excel automation. All right. As the first step, we are going to launch the Excel. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace before launch new Chrome because I need to read the data and then I want to launch the browser and then I want to fill the data. So as a first step, I need to launch an Excel. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. And then as a parameter, I'm going to launch an Excel that with the blank document or existing document. I want to open the following document, which is already exist. Now, document path, I'm going to give the document path over here in a such a way I'm having the challenge Excel in project hyphen RPA challenge. I'm going to select challenge.excel SX file. Let me select that. And then I'm going to make instance visible. I'm going to make it as false. And then I'm going to click on save. As a best practice, once you have launched an Excel, immediately use the close Excel action to close the Excel instance. Let me drag and drop this close Excel action onto the workspace. And then I'm going to give the Excel instance over here as which, a, which is the output for launch Excel. And then if you see over here before closing an Excel, I don't want to save the document because of the document is read only format. So that I'm going to select do, do not save the document and then I'm going to click on save. Now to read the data from the particular Excel worksheet, I need to select all the data which is available in the Excel, right? For that, to get the first free column or first free row, I'm going to use the action called get first free or column from the Excel worksheet. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace inside launch Excel and close Excel actions. Now, by using this action, that is get first free column slash row from Excel worksheet, we will get first free column as well as first free row at the output. All right, let's click on save. We want to read the data which is having inside the first free column and first free row. I'm going to use the action read from Excel worksheet action. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace as Excel automation. Let me drag and drop after get first free column slash row. We have seen all these actions such as launch Excel, get first free column slash row from the Excel worksheet, another one read from Excel worksheet, and finally close Excel actions as part of the Excel automation session, right? Anyhow, once again, we are going to learn them such as read from Excel worksheet parameters. I'm having Excel instance, that is Excel instance. Retrieve parameter, what we have to give over here. I need to retrieve the entire data from the selections, right? So there I'm going to give values from range of cells. And there you can see starting column. I need to read the data from starting column as A and the first starting row as one. And the end column over here, we got the output from end column as first free column, right? So that I'm going to select the flow variable such as first free column, but I don't want to read the data from the empty columns. So first free column, let's assume if I'm got as 12 is the position, right? But I don't want to read the empty column. In that case, I'm going to give it as first free column minus one. 
and the end row also in a such a way i'm going to give it as first free row minus one all right let me select the flow variable as first free row and i'm going to end row i'm going to give it as first free row minus one before that if you go for the advanced in my excel data i'm having a first row as column names so that i want to give it as first line of range contains column name yes i'm going to enable this and then i'm going to click on save now my desktop flow is ready to read the data from the excel now we'll see the output but i don't want to run the entire desktop flow so i'm going to do i'm going to put a breakpoint over here so that i don't want to run the remaining actions from here all right let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started now if you observe from the get first free column slash row i got first free column as 9 that is 9 is the column and the first free row is 12 column right and i am removing the data in a such a way 9 minus 1 is the first free column another one 12 minus 1 is the 11 is the row which i want to read it. from first to eight columns and then from first row to 11th row i i am going to read the data by using read from excel worksheet now if you see over here i'm having 10 rows and eight columns we'll see that by click on excel data flow variable now if you observe the variable that is excel data i'm having data table now the first row is that first name last name company name role in company address email id phone number now the point is that we got this first row we have selected the option first row as the column names and the remaining things we are having the data all right let me click on close and then i'm going to stop the desktop flow right now now I'm having 10 rows over here, Excel data, data table variable, right? I want to loop through each and every time, and then I want to populate the data in the particular web page. How can I go ahead and do that? By using for each action. Let me drag and drop this for each action onto the workspace after launch new Chrome. Let me drag and drop. Now, if you see the parameters for, for each loop that I'm having value to iterate, so what is the value to iterate? Now, what are the data we have stored in the Excel data, data table variable? I want to iterate through them, and then I want to store them in the current item. All right, let me select the flow variable as Excel data, and then I'm going to store in current item for each and every record. All right, let me click on save. Now, I want to move the all the actions such as populate text field on web page along with press button on web page inside for each action. Let me drag and drop these all actions. Now for every record inside the Excel data, it will go through loop by using for each action and then it will store the data inside the current item, right? Now, whatever the data we have in the current item, I need to populate that data on the web page by using populate text field on web page. How can we go ahead and do that? Let's double click on the populate text field on web page. Now, in place of text, I have previously given a static value that is text as Amir. But right now, I need to get the values from the Excel data, right? That Excel data, I'm going to store the data inside that current item. Now, I'm going to select the variable over here, such as current item. Inside my current item, I'm having first name, right? so that I'm going to give current item of first name and then I'm going to click on save. I have modified all my populate text field on web page actions related to the columns which are available in the Excel data. If you observe over here, populate text field on web page for the first name, I have given current item of first name. Last name, I have given it as current, current item of last name, company name, I have given current item of company name, role in company, I have given current item of role in company, address, current item of address, email, current item of email, and finally, for the phone number, I have given current item of phone number. All right, let me click on close. Now, our entire flow is ready by reading the data as well as filling the web page by using 
web form filling actions with dynamic ui elements all right let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started it is trying to read the data from the excel by using excel automation now it is trying to fill the data in the rpa challenge by using browser automation actions such as launch new chrome and populate text field on web page actions there you can see for each and every record that i am going to insert the it is trying to fill the data in a such a way that is first name last name company name role in company and after that address email phone number even after changing the positions that is dynamic ui elements in the particular web form and finally it is trying to click on submit and then for each and every row inside my excel data that it is trying to fill all the details in the particular fields by using dynamic ui elements for web form filling it will continues for the next nine records which are available in our excel once all the records in the excel has filled in the rpa challenge then it will close the browser